Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me this afternoon uh, to, to announce the winners of the Excellence in Publishing Awards for this year. Uh, sorry for the technical difficulties this morning. Um, I thought I was a little bit more adept at Facebook than I am, so we'll resort to the next best thing. Uh, this will be recorded and we will post it at the website as well as send it out to, you'll get it automatically and send it out to all of our members. So. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of show and tell and maybe 15, 20 minutes at most. Uh, so let's get started. These are in no particular order. So if you're waiting for a particular category and thinking she's doing them alphabetically or something like that, I'm not. So we're going to start with our general interest category. Oh, actually, before I begin, quick notes about how the... Uh, how the books are judged. The um, the judges, uh, there are three judges per category. We have 14 categories this year. And uh, they, in the end, identify the first, second, and third place finishers. For categories that have only four, which we consider a small number, uh, we only award the first place. And that does is happening this year. We, there are sometimes categories that do not get judged because we don't have sufficient submissions. And that did happen with two categories this year, the children's book for teens and the uh, music award for Catholic mass settings. So we will uh, judge those next year, we hope. So again, I'm gonna start with the general interest categories. Our third place winner is The Election of Pope Francis by Gerald, Gerard O'Connell from Orbis Books. In third place, How We Love, A Formation for the Celibate Life by John Mark Falkenhayn by Liturgical Press. And in first place, Resisting a Throwaway Culture, How a Consistent Life Ethic Can Unite a Fractured People by Charles Camozzi from New City Press. Our next category is inspirational. In third place was The Heart of Perfection by Colleen Carol Campbell. She's also a previous award winner. Uh, that was published by Simon & Schuster. We had two works tied for first place this year and they are Overdue, A Dewey Decimal System of Grace by Valerie Schultz from Liturgical Press and A Living Gospel by Robert Ellsberg from Orbis Press. Also a multiple winner across years, Robert is. Our next uh, category is prayer. Uh, this is always one of our largest category and one of the most diverse in terms of style, content, size, and presentation. This year's third place winner is Make Me an Instrument of Your Peace by David Haas from Clear Faith Publishing. The second place winner goes, uh, goes to The Flowing Grace of Now by Macrina Weidecker from Ivy Murray Press, our most, one of our most recently deceased and most beloved authors in the Catholic community. And our first place winner is the first of our double award winners. Uh, this is Rejoice and Be Glad, Yours is the Kingdom by David Haas from Clear Faith Publishing. Our next category is spirituality. Like prayer, very diverse. And in fact, last year we split prayer and spirituality into two categories because the number of submissions was so large. In third place, we, we have two books in third place and two books in first place. Uh, third place goes to Be Brave in the Scared, by Mary E. Lennebug from Ivy Maria Press. Again, third place to A God Who Questions by Leonard DiLorenzo from OSV. One of the two first place winners is a course in desert spirituality. Sorry if you can't see that real well. 15 Sessions with the Famous Trappist Monk by Thomas Merton, edited by John Sweeney and forward by Paul Quinon. And our other first place finisher is Ruth Burroughs, Essential Writings by Ruth Burroughs, edited by Michelle Jones from Orbis Books. Our first category that was small for which we only have awarded a single first place winner is our music song of the year. The winner for this category is By Our Love by Tom Kenzia, published by OCP. 
Also, our second music category is our Distinguished Catholic Music Composer of the Year. One of the most interesting things about this category is that there was such a diversity between veterans and very accomplished uh, musicians and composers and a few newer names as well. So real, real good expression of the breadth and depth of the Catholic music scene. Our third place went to Sarah Hart for Sacrament by OCP. Second place for Love and Grace by Dan Schutte, also OCP. And first place to Be Still and Know I'm Here by Father Ricky Manalo, CSP from OCP. Our next category is Resources for Liturgy. This category also had a tie for second place. Our first second place winner was Spirit and Psalm Contemporary Psalter by various authors from OCP. Second place to Revival 2 by Tony Alonzo from GIA Publications Incorporated. And first place goes to Compassionate Christ, Compassionate People, Liturgical Foundations for Christian Spirituality by Bob Hurd from Liturgical Press. Liturgical Press was our most numerous winner this year. Our next category is our second resource category, and this is resources for ministry. Our third place winner went to Start With Jesus, How Everyday Disciples Will Renew the Church by Julianne Stans from Loyola Press. Our second winner was Helping Teens with Stress, Anxiety and Depression by Roy Pettifees, also from Ave Maria Press. And our winner, the Adaptive Teacher, Faith-Based Strategies to Reach and Teach Learners with Disabilities by John Barone and Charlene Katra from Loyola Press. This first place finish from Loyola Press for the Adaptive Teacher is the third of three first place finishers from Loyola Press in their multiple title adaptive series. Our next category is biography. One of the highlights of this category is that all three finishers are books about women and in fact, re women religious. The third, third place finisher went to Thea Bowman, Faith and Fight Free by Maurice J. Nutt, CSSR. Second place to Encountering Mother Teresa by Linda Schaefer from OSV. And our first place winner, to Speak the Truth in Love by Christine Schenk, CSJ, from Orbis Books. This book was about a biography of Sister Teresa Kane, RSM. It's from one of the comments from the uh, biography judges was how impressed they were with the stories of these women, but how very much so for the stories of, of Sister Teresa Kane. Another one of our small categories this year was scripture. First place and only place that we're giving out this year is to the Wisdom Commentary on Mark by Warren Carter from Liturgical Press. And moving on to theology, our third place award goes to Discovering Pope Francis, The Roots of o Jorge Mario Bergoglio's Thinking, edited by Brian Yi Lee and Thomas Noble from Liturgical Press. There are two first place finishers in this category. And the first place finisher, first first place finisher is Catholicity and Emerging Personhood by Daniel Horan, OFM from Orbis Books. Our second first place finisher is The Truth Will Make You Free, The New Evangelization for a Secular Age by Robert Levitt, SS from Liturgical Press. And rounding down to our last few categories, the, some of the prettiest books that we received this year. Our third to last category is Spanish. And I apologize for any butchering that I do of titles or names. The third place finisher in the Spanish category goes to Renovacion Charismatica Catolica by Andres Arango 
from Ave Maria Press. Our second place finish went to 365 Dias Acomponados por los Santos by Carmen Aguinaco from Loyola Press. And our third place finisher goes to one of the pretty books that we have this year, Cuando Te Bautizaron by Caterina Maresca from Liturgy Training Publications. And our penultimate category is children's books for young readers. Third place went to Philip Neri, Saint for Confirmation, written by Barbara Yaffe and illustrated by Jeff Albrecht. Second place to Light of Heaven by Adelie Hude from OSV. And our first place to John the Baptist, Saint for Baptism, written by Barbara Yaffe and illustrated by Jeff Albrecht from Liguri Publications. Barbara is one of our other women authors, women winners, as well as multiple award winners this year. And our final category is children's book, picture book. First place goes to When You Were Baptized by Catherine Maresca from Liturgy Training Publications. So that rounds out all of our winners for 2020. If you are a longtime follower of this awards program, you know that we usually announce the book of the year, or in this case, this year, the resource of the year. We've taken a little bit different approach. So we aren't going to be announcing that for a few weeks. In fact, there is a separate judging committee that will be judging all 16 first place finishers because there were ties and deciding from among them, which one is our resource of the year. So keep an eye out in your email and on Facebook for the announcement of when that award will be announced. Thank you for participating. We're glad you came. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call or email us at info at catholicpublishers.org. The image that you see on your screen is the page at our website with all of the award winners announced. And you will see at our homepage, uh, there you go. You'll see their homepage at the top of the page is the press release uh, announcing those winners. So feel free to use that. If you are a winner and you did not receive uh, image files of the first, second, and third place winning uh, medallions, please let me know. I can make those available to you at any time. Again, thank you for participating and talk to you next time.